Hello! It is that time of year again, the Amazon Prime Day Sale. We've got a lot of stuff with the 3D printing community that is currently on sale. So I wanted to go over some of the best ones with you and stick around to the end of this video because I found a cool 3D printer plus other thing combo that is currently on sale on Amazon with a savings of $700. Stick around to the end and I will show that to you. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with probably one of the biggest printers that people are going to be going for. That is the Ender 3 V3 SE. It is currently on sale for $175.20. Normally, you can find this anywhere from about $200 to $220. So that is not too bad. It's a good solid intro printer. Um, and then they have the upgraded version, which is the Ender 3 V3 KE on sale right now for $237.99. I know I personally paid about $320 for it about six months ago. Um, that is a killer deal. Now, just a heads up, Creality is doing a Prime Day sale on their own website. I will have links for both Amazon and the Creality store pinned down in the comments below. And if you see any 3D printers that you like and are interested in that I mentioned in this video, I will have a separate link for each 3D printer pinned down in the comment that will take you directly to the Amazon store for that particular item. So next up, we've got the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M. Now they do have the 5M and the 5M Pro on sale. I'm not 100% certain what the 5M Pro normally goes for, but the regular 5M is usually on sale on Amazon for $299.99. It's currently on sale for $279.99. Sorry, I think just $279. Um, 20 bucks off for this thing. I haven't used one personally, but I do have a Flash Forge machine, and they are pretty solid. There is usually a slight learning curve with it, but I've heard from plenty of people that the regular 5M is just a solid, sturdy printer, and you shouldn't have any issues with it. Now, one of the cheapest printers that I've come across is the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Neo, currently going for $159.98. Normally, this retails on Amazon for about $200 to $215. Bucks. I, I love AnyCubic. Their customer support is the best in the 3D printing industry. So even if you have any issues with it, get in contact with their support team and they will take care of you. AnyCubic is awesome. And no matter what, I'm a fan of their stuff, if nothing else for their customer service alone. They are awesome. Um, that's a solid price for a uh, good introductory printer. Um, speaking of introductory printers, I saw they have a limited supply, but the BQ, BQ, B -I -Q -U, B1 printer uh, is going for $99 right now, normally $198, so 50% off. Um, intro 3D printer, uh, it's got some bells and whistles on it. Um, but this is kind of just a straightforward, very similar to your standard Ender 3. Um, but it looks like it has a touch screen on it, so slightly upgraded. Either way, I think you're going to have fun with this machine, especially for 100 bucks. You really can't go wrong with that. Um, heading back to Creality for a second, we've got the K1 Max. This is going to be your large bed 3D printer. Um, normally I see it going for about eight to nine hundred dollars. Um, I found another store that has it currently for nine twenty nine right now. Um, Amazon has the K1 Max going for seven forty three right now, and some change. Um, this is another very popular printer, especially if you're looking to print large items. Um, so 
go ahead and check that out. Again, there will be a link to the Creality Store down below. Um, the Creality Store has them just a couple bucks uh, more expensive, but some people think that it's better to go directly through the company as opposed to Amazon. So I'll have a link for both of those pinned down in the comments below. Um, Anchor Make 5C, M5C, sorry. Uh, normally about 275 to 350. I checked out the Anchor Make website. They're doing a Prime Day sale too, um, but it's like a weird bundle combo, and it was around 275 for that. Um, check that out if you want. I can put a link for that down below. But on Amazon, just the M5C is going for 219 right now. So that's pretty solid. This one is uh, not a lot of bells and whistles to it. This one's very straightforward, but I've heard good things about it. I haven't used any Anchor Make printers before, but I have people that swear by it. Um, and then uh, this one's a little bit of a change of pace. I don't do any resin printing, um, but I did see that any cubic has the Photon Mono 2 currently on sale for $149.99. I want to say that normally retails for about $200, bucks, um, so a good $50 bucks off there. You really can't beat that. Um, so those are the main 3D printers that I saw for sale. Um, I didn't see anything too great on... Uh, filament dryers, the kind of the best one that I saw, cheapest price one, was the Sunlu filament dryer S1 Plus uh, for $31.99. I will put a link for that down below as well. Um, I've used a Sunlu filament dryer before. They work fine. Um, I think the one that I have might actually be a Sunlu dryer. Mine got discontinued though, um, but it still works perfectly fine. Um, check those out. I also found a Creality 3D printer toolkit comes with a sweet little case, uh, $30.59 for this thing. Uh, it's got all of the standard tools that you're going to need. Um, around $30 is about the price that you're looking for most of the toolkits that you find on Amazon. Creality kind of bundled this all together in a neat, tidy little case, which I love having my tools in a case unless you're planning on building a rack for them or something like that, you're constantly going to be searching for them. Um, they solve that by just using a case with it. So link for that down below. Um, and then I found some cool filaments. Um, Creality's got their rainbow PLA filament for $17.99. I think I paid $23 bucks for this a couple months ago. Uh, check that out. We've got um, the Anycubic Gray PLA for $12.34. Uh, any cubic filament, pretty solid, no tangles, anything like that. Esun fast printing, speedy PLA filament, eleven ninety nine. Um, I've been digging these fast print filaments. You don't really come into clogging issues, especially if you're using like a bamboo or one of the new any cubic Cobra threes, because uh, those tend to go fast. And I don't normally have too many problems with those anyway, but I found less clogging issues with these speedy filaments. Um, found this eSun PLA Plus Bone White Filament, $16.99. Um, this filament looks pretty cool. I'm probably going to pick up some for myself. Might do a video on that. Let me know if you're interested in me doing a review on that. Um, looks pretty good. I always like trying these fun different kinds of filaments. And then the Airy One Silk Dual Color Filaments. I just clicked around a little bit on these, but it looks like most of them are going for $16.99. And I like using their dual color filaments. They print well, um, and everybody loves to pick them up and play with them. Um, I do a lot of vendor markets, and people love picking these up and looking at them. So for sure, I do recommend the dual color filament. Check it out. It's solid. Um, I also came across this Amelin silk bundle and um, this one that I'm putting the link to down below is a four pack bundle. Uh, it's just 200 grams each. Uh, they do have the full kilogram rolls available as well. 
Um, but this little tester bundle is very cool. Um, people love the look of this filament. It's very unique. It prints very awesomely, especially if you're doing just single items at a time. Gives it a very cool little color scheme, and you are not going to be disappointed in that. Uh, so those are the main filament deals that I found. There are some other ones that you can find just kind of by scrolling through there. I saw a lot of simple just black or white or gray. Um, if you want some recommendations for which one of those to pick up, leave me a comment below. I'm going to try to keep up on my comments for the next 24 to 48 hours during this sale. So if you have a question, keep me posted. Let me know. I'll try to figure out a good filament for you if that's what you're looking for. Um, and then I came across a couple build plates that are very cool. Um, so this one here is the H1H 3D printer um, that listed the K1 through the Ender 3. So I don't know if you have to go through and pick the different sizes out on that. Uh, $15.99 for these. Usually they go for about $25 on Amazon. But you get the cool um, designs that print onto the bottom of the actual print and gives you a cool little look on it. I've been using it for making my display signs and they come out awesome. Um, found the same exact thing for the Bamboo Labs printer. Um, so I will have a link for each one of those separately down in the comments below. Check those out if you have an Ender 3 or an Ender series or a Bamboo series. They've got them for all the different sizes. You should be able to just click through the different options there and find which one fits for your printer. They also have different designs on the build plate. So definitely play through with those. Check those out. You are not going to be disappointed. And the biggest deal that I found, I saw this one was already 60% claimed when I looked at it before making this. Check it out. It is the Snapmaker 2.0. This is a 3-in-1 3D printer. So you get 3D printing, you get laser engraving, and you get CNC carving. This is super cool. Normally it retails for $1,600. They've got it on sale right now. For $8.99. Um, I'll show the uh, product demo right here. But uh, if my math is right, that's about $700 off. There will be a link dedicated to that pinned down in the comments below. Uh, according to Amazon, 44% off. So check that out. I really want to get one of those. I'm probably going to have to miss out on it this particular sale because I did not budget accordingly for Prime Day. Uh, check that out though. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited for. If I missed anything specific that you have seen on the Prime Day deals, leave a comment down below. Let me know how much of an idiot I am. Um, and then uh, check out my last review for what I didn't like with the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo. I am going to be putting out a new video for that. Um, I've been in touch with Anycubic recently, and they are awesome. They're amazing. They sent me out a new machine. I'm going through the process of reviewing that right now. Um, so they've been great. They've been super awesome. I recommend them. I think the printer right now is just going through some growing pains. Um, I know that they're working on it, though. I've spoken personally with their R&D team. And guys, they are super awesome. They are super dedicated to this machine. If you have any problems with it, reach out directly to them and they will be more than happy to get back to you. Um, they get back to me usually same day with any issues that I have. So um, keep your eyes out for that. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out everything down below. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. You can also reach me at idiotcraftman at gmail.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!